So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am making a dessert and I'm super cheating with this because I'm not making anything from scratch, but I am making a monster brownie, but just like an Easter edition. So I'm bringing this to a friend's house and I just wanted to try it because I feel like it'd be really good. So I just got a regular Betty Crocker fudge brownies, Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookies, and then some pastel m and m cookies i'm so excited to make this i let this butter soften because i always melt the butter and i always forget to like bring it out so first we're gonna mix the wet ingredients for these so i will do the cookies in this one and the brownies in this one so one stick of butter softened not melted and one egg so let's get the eggs okay so one egg and this one is two eggs let me go ahead and crack those. All right. Okay, I have this fun mixer. I like this one for some reason. Stir cookie mix, soften butter, and egg in a medium bowl. I feel like it's not going to mix very well, but we'll see. So let me beat the egg first. Okay, let's see. I don't know how this is gonna do. I mean, obviously it's not gonna mix really well in the eggs, but like I always, always am the type to just like melt the butter a little bit. So I've never actually done it how it's truly supposed to be. Just like softened butter. This is definitely soft, you see? So, I'll just go ahead and put the mix in. Mm. There's nothing I love more than baked chocolate chip cookies. Truly, truly, truly the best. Oh yeah, and the oven is heated right now at 375. So I know also um, that Betty Crocker has like a brownie cookie mix and I didn't get that one. I just wanted to make, cause I don't know if those portions are big. So I just wanted to get one full size of each. Okay, let me wash my hands and really mix this in together. And put my hair up. Take off my silicone ring, and my watch, and my bracelets. All right, let's just mix the cookie dough. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and chill the cookie dough. I saw that in one of the recipes. I don't know if it just makes it easier, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge while I make the brownie mix. Okay, now for the brownie mix. Oh, so the oven is ready. So, two tablespoons of water. Let me actually rinse this first. So I put two tablespoons of water in there. Half a cup of vegetable oil. So, I don't know how crucial it is that vegetable oil. We were already out and I realized I had like literally no oil. So I ended up getting this olive oil because I've been wanting to cook with olive oil more lately and I think it'll be fine. So half a cup of oil, which is a lot because I feel like once you put that in here, there's not as much in the, well, no, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna mix that first. I wish this had chocolate chips in it, but it's okay. Mmm, smells so good. I do have a blender, like a hand blender, but I don't feel like I actually need that. Cause this, yeah, look how fast that blended. All right. Okay, so this is the pan sheet that I have. It's very not deep at all, um, but because it's so long and wide, I feel like the brownie will sp spread apart, but I feel like it'll cook faster. So I definitely need to keep my eye on this because I haven't, I can't mess up on this one because <laughs> um, I'm bringing it to someone's house and I don't have time to fix it. So let's just hope and pray that it works. I'm gonna spray it first. So this is just the only spray I had is avocado spray. I'm gonna spray it real good so it comes out easily. Okay. Okay. 
Oh yeah. I'm not one of the types to lick the bowl because I always found it kind of icky there being raw egg in there, but let me know if you guys do. Okay, so that's in there, really flat. So let me get the cookie dough and mix this in there. Okay, so this is gonna be the tricky part because it's so sticky. And you know, obviously the brownie mix is very runny and sticky as well. So it's gonna be hard trying to stick it in there, but look how cute. Oh, I love it already. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. Obviously, you can do this with just regular M&Ms, but I think this is gonna look so cute. Get these little Easter M&Ms. I love a good monster cookie. Okay, let's try our first one. So they say to make like really flat shaped cookies, which makes sense, like discs. So let's try this. Maybe that's why they say to make it cool. What's up, baby? This is all done. Thank you, baby. So yeah, I'm curious if the cold kind of helps it just like, you form it more, I don't know. Okay, so now I'm kind of just like patting it down, spreading it out. Okay, so let me wipe my hands and then I'll put this in the oven. Okay, so this is what it looks like before I'm putting it on the oven. I'm so excited. I think it looks beautiful right now. So I kind of want to add more M&Ms. Let me actually add a few more. Like right on top so you can really see it. Okay, people, I'm more at the very, very end, but. Okay, let's put it in the oven. Oh wait, so I should probably know how long. So when I read online, um, people said like it would be gooey because you're mixing the two. So um, for the brownie mix, it did say more like 22, 25 minutes. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do start with 20 minutes and then check on them. All right, so they're in the oven. I'm gonna clean up the place and I'll be back when they're all done. Okay, so this is how it looks. Honestly, it's a little bit browner than I wish it was. And unfortunately, I can't try it right now, but I will try to remember to come back or at least film myself on my phone trying it. Um, but I think it looks beautiful, I really do. Let me know if you guys enjoy this, if you want, me, if you want to see me do more desserts. Um, this was like a cheat one because I use the boxes and stuff, so the kids are super loud in the background. But I love baking and I want to get more into it. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this. All right, see you in the next one.